what it, what it is called, it's called a multi-layered um, real estate finance transaction. That's what it's called. And the irony is, is that William Maselli, who was, you know, obviously, you know, was Obama's mentor, and you know, and, uh, that's one of the specialties, as as per his law firm. Well, why would they do that? If, if, if what, I mean, what, 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 you, what would they be trying to hide? What they're trying to do, remember now, what happened was they created a trust. Okay, well, really, the trust already exists. It's a Northern Trust Company, trust number one zero two zero nine. Okay, and in two thousand and five, let me get to my, let me get to that point where this happened. Um, in 2005, a loan was was acquired from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac for 1.32 million dollars. Okay, and it was acquired by the Northern Trust Company for the Northern Trust Company Trust Number 10209 for property PIN number 20111150034. because. Pin number two zero one one five zero two six. When they in April of two thousand and five, they did a release for zero dollars. Two, pin number zero three four, and this was done by the previous owner Frederick Wandesford, and he and he did it to to create pin number zero three four, and this pin number lasted for eight months. Okay, from April of two thousand and five to December of two thousand and five. It lasted for only eight months. During this period of time is when the crime actually took place, okay? Because the um, Frederick Wandesford sold the house to Northern Trust Company, Trust Number One Zero Two Zero Nine, as a grantor. The grantee is the Northern Trust Company of a mortgage for one point three two million dollars from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Unbelievable. Yes, sir, it is. And, the, and now the one thing that, that I really found um, to be, to be the, the pinpoint of the crime itself was that as recorded June 2, 2005, mind you, less than, th- less, than three, well, less than 13 days before the so-called purchase of the property by the Obamas, was that there was no index legal description for the property and no index property information as per you know, document 0015339067 for the property, there was no indexes at all. And that what that was was an ABI, which is an assignment of beneficial interest from the Northern Trust Company to the Northern Trust 10209. Mm-hmm. So basically they snuck it in there, and that's when they created PIN number, Two zero one 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 five zero three seven, which is not recorded at the Cook County Recorder of Deeds, but it is recorded at the Treasurer's Office and at the Assessor's Office. It doesn't exist as per the CCRB. So once again, we have a deliberate attempt to uh, hide uh, yes, sir. ownership and to confuse yes, sir. anyone on the trail. Yes, sir. If if you don't know what triggers to look for, you're not you're not going to find it. But but in my, in my line of work, you know, as a as a debt collector, as a skip tracer, I know what you know what triggers to look for. Well, if, if you didn't, if 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 Barack and Michelle Obama were just ordinary folks, and and um, uh, you were uh, on their trail f- for debts that they owed, and you came across. Uh, you know this. Uh, you know these uh, bizarre transactions. What would that say to you? It's real estate fraud. Real estate fraud. Because yes, sir. Because when I when I examined um, Barack Obama's income tax for two thousand and nine, mm-hmm. um, it's a it's a fifty eight page document. Okay, on page three, it lists you know um, federally how much he paid for his real estate tax you know, for his home. Mm-hmm. Okay. On page 57 of the same PDF, you know, the actual, actually I got, I got that from the White House, you know, from whitehouse.gov. On page 57, this is state of Illinois filing for his real estate taxes, which shows, what did I do with that document? It shows on page three 
that um, he paid he paid $22,456 on a $1.65 million house, okay? And it also shows, you know, write the PIN index number for the property listed above. It's blacked out on his Illinois tax return. It's blacked out? Okay. It's been it's redacted? Yes, sir. Why? Yes, why, sir. Would they re why was it redacted? Because they didn't want people knowing which, what, what the actual PIN number was to the property. And it was electronically done because I actually I blew it up in my computer to 600 times you know, its normal size so I could actually see the, the, the pixels in it. And that way I could tell that it was actually electronically blacked out because the edges are perfect. So, and on his 2010 income tax returns for the state of Illinois, that, um, those, that page is not present where, you, where you're supposed to provide the PIN number for your taxes. So one question that I have is why didn't they do that under 2010 taxes? You know, when, when, when you're lying, you, you really have to just keep working hard all the time to cover up all the lies. Yes, sir. One lie, one lie generates another lie. Mm -hmm. And when I, con you know, and, you know, re you know, going back to the PIN numbers, when I spoke to Kid County Recorded Beans, they, they, they could not explain to me why the property itself had so many PIN numbers. They didn't, they didn't give me an explanation. They, 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 they referred me to the treasurer's and the assessor's office. I am still scratching my head over Harrison J. Bonell. H have you come across this name anyplace else? No, sir, I have not. It does not exist. Um, the polls that I did for his Social Security number for the uh, 0426844425 number came up as no hits. Um, the, social, I, the Social Security number that you have, is it the same Social Security number that um, other private investigators have come up with? It's identical. This is the Connecticut Social Security number? Uh, yes, sir. This is the invisible Social Security number. This is 0426844425. And I can, I can tell you what the number is because, I mean, it, it's all over the Internet anyway. So it's public you yeah. know, knowledge what his Social Security number is. So I I'm not at risk for yeah. you know, divulging any personal say, information. Say it again. But, say it slowly. Sure. Zero four two six eight four four two five, and I actually triple checked it on the twelfth, just literally four days ago. You know, with my with my master file, and I did a death master file that came up no hits, and I also did a search by you know SSN index search, and um, it came up no hits as well. Okay, uh, Obama's. Social Security number that he's fraudulently using, which belongs to a dead man in Connecticut. Is that correct? No, sir, because I actually researched that myself. Or is, or okay. do I have that confused? Or is it with a, a teenager? What's the story? Where did that Social Security number come from? Um, there are so many stories out there. I can't pinpoint the exact. Um, okay. You know the the, the exact. Um, I, I call them urban legends. You know, I can't, you know. Okay. Much, um, but what we do know, them. what we do know, Al, is that Social Security number 0426844425 was issued to a Connecticut resident. Is that correct? Um, as per my records, it doesn't exist because there's no hits to it. You're saying okay. that the number doesn't even exist? Yes, sir. As per my, as per my, as per my polls, because I actually did an, an SSN search, which is a Social Security number search. And it returned zero hits. Okay, now do you have access to the same databases that a private investigator would have? Uh, mine are actually better. Really? Because I, I yes, yeah, so I pull from every database across the country for, you know to collect on my debts. I mean, I can I even have pulls from you know from California, you know California does California Criminal Corporation Civil Licenses. Mm -hmm. I mean, I even do um, ABC um, pulls. Okay, but you're saying. The Social Security number is 0426844425. Is this a fraudulent Social Security number? That's my question. Yes. How do you know it's fraudulent? Because it came up with no hits, but yet he's using it with an alias. Okay, I'm going to say this real loud, real plain, uh, for the FBI <laughs> and for... Uh, federal prosecutors, the U.S. Justice Department, if, if there is such a thing as justice anymore in the U.S. Justice Department, because it looks like a big joke now, 
Uh, the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, which apparently doesn't investigate anything anymore, uh, for the uh, U.S. prosecutors, the U.S. attorneys of each state, the U.S. attorney of Illinois. We're going to say this on the radio. Barack Hussein Obama is a criminal. He is a pimp. He is a street hustler, a Mac daddy. This guy is a fraud. He is a criminal. He is fraudulently using the Social Security number 0426844425. He also uses, apparently, the alias name Harrison J. Bonnell, in addition to the name Barry Satoro. Just how many names does this imposter in the White House have? That's my question to the FBI. And I would like the FBI to get off their butt and do what the taxpayers are paying them to do. Investigate and arrest criminals who are breaking federal laws. I'm fed up with the FBI's unwillingness to do its job. Now, we're saying it on the radio. Obama... Whatever his name is, Barry Sotoro is a lying, conniving imposter who needs to be handcuffed and taken to a federal detention center and processed and fingerprinted and indicted by a federal jury. And I'm just wondering how long the wimps in Washington are going to hide and refuse to deal with the criminal who is in the White House. Go ahead, Al. I just wanted to add that uh, along, with the, along with the searches for, um, for his name, I also came across 58 addresses from across the country. For Obama or, or Harrison J. Bonnell? Uh, for Barack and Michelle Obama. 58 addresses? Uh, yes, sir, in, in other states. I, I, I did a state-by-state search. I literally started in California and worked my way east. Are these properties that he allegedly owned or rented? Well, um, the properties are owned by other people or, or rented by other people. But yet his name, Barack Obama, with, another, with different Social Security numbers are attached to these properties, and I found three with Michelle Obama on them. Wait a minute. Different Social Security numbers? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's two of them that Barack Obama is using in Illinois, other than his. I mean, it's the one he's using now, the 042, the, the current one, and then another one that begins with a 6526. And that belongs to a man and a woman who are using the same Social Security number. And in what state are they Byron, in? Ingleside, Illinois. Are, are any connection to Obama? Well, um, I couldn't, um, you know, directly connect them to that, to, to be quite honest and frank with you, because I, I didn't want to get too involved, <laughs> um, you know, more, more than what I am now, because there's 58 addresses and hundreds of names attached to those addresses. I mean, what are we going to uh, have to do here, a citizen arrest because the FBI won't do its job? Well, what we can do, you're going to think that you're going to think I'm crazy. No, but what we can do. One of the names attached to these addresses is Tony Tiger, and Steve Young, Kamora Simmons, Mary Gross, Bobby Womack, Tyra Banks, 